I'm Matt with Computech, and today we're going to show you how to measure the specific gravity of your methanol fuel. Here we have our methanol hydrometer kit that comes in this very nice custom molded plastic shell. When we open the two clasp, you'll see that everything fits inside its own section to ensure it stays safe. First thing we'll do is take out our graduated cylinder and then the thermometer. Next we want to place the thermometer clip on and slide it up. The final piece in this kit is the glass hydrometer, but we'll leave that in the padded case for now. Next we need to fill up our graduated cylinder with whatever fuel we are using. Next, place the thermometer in and allow the readings to stabilize. Once stabilized, take a look at your temperature and write it down. Now we need to determine the actual specific gravity. To do this, we want to gently place the hydrometer in without letting the bottom bounce. Then we want to use our finger ever so slightly to ensure that the hydrometer is floating in the center. Once it is, we can take a reading. To take a reading on a hydrometer, we want to take the reading at the bottom of the meniscus. Pay close attention to the scaling of your hydrometer and make sure you understand how to read it before placing it in. Because we are checking methanol, we want to reference our methanol specific gravity chart and your reading should match the value next to your temperature. If the reading is higher, then you likely have some water in your fuel. For gas, the specific gravity varies with each variation and the specific gravity can be attained by the manufacturer. For more information and video tutorials, check out our website at computech.com.